People were recently outraged when Congress approved a measure allowing ISPs to collect and sell your private data without your consent, blaming Trump's presidency on a lack of respect for uh, your security and privacy. But lest we believe that uh, all of the security and privacy problems began with President Trump, we just need to look back a little bit to see the uh, much publicized recent WikiLeak, which showed how the CIA can hack TVs, phones, and various devices, even when they're not on, to surveil us and record data on us all the time. So that is the government doing that, not private industry, of course. Um, but it does deserve a little bit more examination. Uh, this is part of the NSA, which is a different branch of the intelligence service than the CIA, much larger and better funded one that you probably don't hear about as often. Uh, and here on the Domestic Surveillance, Surveillance Directorate, they uh, come right out and say that they collect data on everyone in the country, thanks to the Patriot Act, which we had all throughout the Obama presidency and came in uh, with the, the Bush presidency. Uh, and interestingly, they start out this page explaining all this with your data. If you have nothing to hide, you have nothing to fear, which uh, is interesting. It's a phrase that has been um, attributed to Joseph Goebbels, the uh, head of propaganda for Hitler's Nazi uh, regime. So they uh, right here say, what if we could build a national data warehouse containing information about every person in the United States? Thanks to secret interpretations of the Patriot Act, top secret Fourth Amendment exceptions allow allowed by the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court in broad cooperation at the local, state, and federal level, we can. And aren't they excited about that? So the federal government is already collecting information on everything you do, uh, both the NSA and the CIA, and they have uh, all sorts of methods of doing this. Here the NSA spells out clearly what things they, uh, in the spirit of openness and transparency, a partial list of current and planned future data collection targets and uh, if you could see this, it's internet searches, websites visit, what videos you watch, phone calls, text messages, Skype calls, all your purchases, financial information, legal documents, travel documents, commuting records, uh, education rest records, essentially everything you do, everything you use money for or you use a device for, they have the data all recorded. Um, so a lot of people are outraged that their ISPs are going to start collecting data. Well, companies like Google and Apple have been collecting this data for many, many years now and using it to package and sell you. And here is a great representation of it. This is the complete guide to Facebook ad targeting. And obviously it's so small here you can't even see it, but it has to be made this small so that you can see just how long it is. And I can enlarge it so you can see. But look at all the demographics. We can target an ad uh, based on your home value, whether you're a first-time buyer, uh, if you're an expected parent, uh, if you speak Turkish, if you, uh, you have uh, what field of study you studied in school, if you have, what your net income is, life events, newly engaged, new job, away from your family, who you're friends of, um, all sorts of things, what movies and games you like, what industries you're interested in, your hobbies, sports, fitness, family relations, website traffic, all sorts of interesting things, uh, what type of food you like, purchase behavior, financial information, automotive information, really it goes on what sort of company you work for, where you're from, who you give money to, what your job role is, how long you've lived at your home, it goes on and on and on. Why do we allow this? Well, we allow it out of laziness, of course, but also convenience. We make that sacrifice of allowing the federal government and industry to monitor every single thing we do and use it essentially against us to sell things to us for convenience. 
uh, we are shown more interest in programming uh, and products. Uh, it's easier as, for us to log into places. We don't have to re-put in our info, info all the time. Um, and also just uh, shutting down stuff, shutting down your browser, your computer, all these things is a pain in the neck. And the longer you're online, the better uh, the profile that can be made of you. Now, if you actually care about this, and you don't want to be monitored. If you, if you don't agree with what the NSA said, that if you have nothing to hide, you have nothing to fear, what can you do about this aside from going off the grid? Well, you can read up on encryption, on VPNs, where you create a tunnel from your ISP to another point on the internet where everything in between is secure, um, or at least more secure. It's not to say they can't hack um, secure communications, but at least it takes a little bit more effort. You can look into things like IP spoofing. You can uh, get 10 extra IP addresses that are for random locations, like 10 bucks a month. You can make sure that all the sites you're using are connected via HTTPS. There are uh, browser extensions that can help you with that. Use private mode browsing uh, or extensions that prevent tracking. Read up on the Tor network if you're really, really serious. It's a, sort of like a mirrored uh, internet that transfers data in ways that make it extremely difficult to track. Um, so that's for the internet. Of course, your voice, call, your voice calls are all being recorded and using Skype won't get away with that. There are services like Silent Circle with end-to-end -end encryption. Red Phone for Android is another option. Um, or you can just go the drug dealer route and use burner phones and change them out frequently. Um, pretty much any device that you use that could have any sort of data on you, if you care about this stuff, shut them off, unplug them, pull the batteries out when you're not using them. Um, because the, the WikiLeaks documents showed that it's possible to spy on you even when your devices are off or you're not on a call. So I don't want to make anybody panic, but I also want to assure you that whatever you see happening now that has sparked your interest has been going on for quite some time, unfortunately. And if you care about this, you can certainly contact your congressman and try to get them to stop this. But They're getting paid quite a bit of money, and the federal government is uh, paying tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people uh, to do this sort of work. So there's, they have a real vested interest in continuing it. You can opt out, not by requesting somebody respect your privacy, but by you respecting your privacy and taking these measures. It's a lot of work. It will make your life more difficult. But if you value your privacy and your security, it's something you should look into.